Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and now in this tutorial we are going to build our recruiting application. So the name of the application would be recruiting application and under this application we will be creating all our custom objects like position then the other custom object that we will be creating would be candidate and uh, we will create another object called as job application and so forth. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create this custom application. So just like we have standard set of applications in Salesforce, like sales application, then we have a service application. Similarly, we can also create our own custom application. Now, in order to create our own application, what you have to do is you go back to your Salesforce. So we'll go to the Salesforce here and on the quick find, we will type in app and uh, just like we have a tab for object manager we have something called as app manager here as well and through this app manager we will be able to control what kind of app you want to create so here you can see these are the list of the apps that salesforce has it so we have uh, apps like content community these are available into classic so you can see here which apps are available where so there there's some of them are classic app and some of them are the lightning app so classic is was the old ui that salesforce had and uh, let me see if there is a way so if you want to go ahead and look at how the classic ui used to look you can click on this switch to salesforce classic and um, if you want to go ahead and take a look at this, this is how the classic UI looks. This is more the older UI that I used to, uh, we used to have. Now, most of the companies have switched over to the Lightning UI, which is the most recent and the Salesforce encourages you to use the Lightning one. So if you want to switch back to the Lightning one, you have to click on this Lightning experience, but you can still have an option of going back to the classic UI. So going back to the app manager, what will I do? I'll go here to the setup and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the app manager. This is the app manager under apps and click on that. And then you can see here, these are all the different apps that are available. And uh, these I've also given the app types. So some of them are available in the classic. Some of them are available in the lightning and so forth. So now here, if I want to create a new app, then I'm going to click on new lightning app. So new connected app is basically when you want to connect Salesforce with an external system, that's the time when we're going to use the connected app. But since we're creating a lightning app, I'm going to click on this new lightning app and it'll ask me for the name of the app. So I'm going to give it as recruiting. This is the name of the application that I'm going to create the app name recruiting developer name is this and then if you want to give a description you can recruiting application to keep track of open position or we can say open job positions in your company so that is the description here and if you want to give an image means a logo for your app you can provide it here and uh, you can change the if you want to change the color you can even change the color here if you make it something like yellow or things of that nature it's up to you and uh, here if you scroll down this is how the app launcher is going to look like so this is the preview of how it's going to be if you want to change it i'm going to make it let's say yellow you can go ahead and hit the pick a yellow in here if you want so you can scroll here and make it a yellow hit the done you can see here this is how the color changes and hit the next button now it's asking you which style you want to choose for the navigation we have a standard navigation and the console navigation i'm going to go ahead and go with the standard navigation here now supported form factors where do you want this application only on the desktop or phone or you want it on both so i'm going to go ahead and click on desktop and phone and uh, setup experience will go with the full set of, of uh, setup options. We'll leave everything as it is and then hit the next button. It is asking you, do you need to add some utility items? So you, if you want some standard list of utility items, you can do that. These are basically the utility items means if you wanted to go ahead and show the history, 
the list view, things of that nature. Then you can click on add utility item and then you can choose from here and add it. So let's say you want to show the list of recent items that you have opened. Click on this one and it'll add a list view to your app as well. Now this is only available only on the desktops. So if you don't want it, you can remove it. If you want it, you can, if you want to remove it, then click on the remove button and it'll remove it for you. Then hit the next button. Now these are basically the standard items that are available. Now let's say I'm only interested in reports. So I wanted to go ahead and add the reports here. And also the second thing I will be interested in is let's say dashboards, because eventually when we are done with the application, we will be creating some reports and dashboards for our data. So for those purposes, I'm just going to add these two important tabs to my application. One is the reports and the other one is the dashboard. Now the next thing is, there's another one is the home page. I want to have a home page as well. And if I wanted to make the home page the first, I'm going to choose it and I'm going to move this over before everything else. So this is the items that my app will have by default. It'll have a home page reports. And the next thing would be a dashboard. So these are the three items that my new lightning app will have. And if I wanted to change the order, you can change it by going up and down, select the tab that you want to remove. And then you can use these arrows to go up and down, hit the next button. And then which profiles will have access to this new application. So I want to give access to all the profiles. So I'm not only, or you, you can even choose that. Hey, only system admin have access. So you can only select the system admin profile and you can move it to the right hand side. So only the system admin users, whoever have the profile of system admin will be able to access this new application. But if you want to give access to all of these profiles, then you can select all of these profiles. And then here, what you can do is you can select all these profiles and move it over to the right hand side. So that way, every profile user will have access to this recruiting application and then hit the save and finish button. So now what you have done is you have created your recruiting application. So if I go here now, if I go to the search here so you go go to the app launcher and in the app launcher if you go over to the recruiting this is the application that you have just created so these were the three tabs or the three items that i've added now once we create our own list of custom objects what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, add those over to the rep uh, uh, next to this in the recruiting application so this is how you create a recruiting uh, or you create a new application. So let me just give you a quick recap. You go over to the gear icon and just like you have something called as object manager, which is basically for the objects, you can create a new object. You can see the list of all the objects that Salesforce has all the custom objects, standard objects. Similarly, there is a place which is called as app manager, which basically manages all the applications. So it gives you a complete list of standard application as well as the custom applications that you have created. And this is the list. And now you will see that the recruiting application that we created is also available. So here, number 12, this application was not there before. So this is the recruiting application. It is available in the lightning. It's a lightning app. So it's available in the lightning. So now you can see here, this is how you can create your application. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and uh, make this if i go to the edit if i wanted to delete the application you can delete it by clicking on the delete button if you want to edit it you can edit it by going over to that and clicking the edit button and if you want to change the which profiles have access if you wanted to change the navigation items you can change it from here if you wanted to add the utility items then you can add it going under this utility bar will be fixed footer that opens components in a docked panels available only the app is viewed in lightning experience or on a on a desktop so that's where these utility items will show up these are the different options that are available and uh, so you can see here if you want to change it you can change it so going back i'm going to go over to the list of applications again so now this application is available only in the lightning so now what i can do is if i go over to the classic here so if i go to the switch to the salesforce classic now here if i see 
under here you don't have the recruiting application that we created because that application is currently only available in the lightning so that's why only the lightning ui has that recruiting application not the classic ui so this is how you create a custom application in salesforce